Sorry for the background babble in the foreign language, but that's the builders next door. Let's know what they're talking about, really. Not. Okay. Um, January 2020. Not been down here for about three weeks. I've just arrived. Found the electric cable that was going along the top of the wall was actually hanging on the site and it's taken me probably 20 minutes to try and get their attention because they don't speak bloody English but then it turns out they do, they were just ignoring me uh, so cable's now back where it should be not dangling over me plot which is good um, let's just have a quick look at what's going on well, the bind weed and that that I, I packed up has, has died off, which is good, but it's still a mess over here. Okay. Can't remember what state we were at at the last video, but the last video was probably two or three months ago. So gradually, I'm working my way backwards. Uh, this is what remains of the wood chip I've got. Uh, I'm sure if I'd finished the wood chip, the wood chip up there by the uh, frame for the greenhouse is in. There's a couple of uh, water butts, but they're not water butts, um, containers, uh, oil, oil drums and plastic drums full of leaves there, which son in law has got to come and uh, empty with me and then collect. That's the rubbish I brought down with me today. What's up, rubbish? Uh, I've got a couple of trugs of leaves from the front garden. I've got uh, a load of milk bottles to turn into um, soft bricks. I've got a couple of uh, Heinz buckets with li lids of shredded um, paper. And this is where we got to last time we were down got those two beds in. I have emptied what was here, apart from these few here, of uh, buckets. Those are developed weeds over there. And uh, used to fill up or, or to help start filling this bed. It looks like the fox has been backwards and forwards in it. And there's the kind of level of the he has a bed there. I need to fill in that trench towards the end and uh, get some weed membrane down and get a path in, really. The green stakes are where the, uh, the next one should go, and I've cut that uh, proper tarp, waterproof tarp. Uh, from the looks of it over there, I can probably cut another, another strip. Um, this bed really needs to be sorted out and it's a shame because the flowers are already coming through so I don't know what I'm going to do there that's the pen for the leaves that I showed you in the um, barrels and most of these other beds have now been put to sleep uh, they were covered up they were all nicely covered up three weeks ago but it looks like the wind's actually uncovered a couple. So in a minute I'll cover those back up. Find some stuff to weigh down. So the problem is that all the soft bricks are going like that. They're all decaying. Uh, they're in biodegradable milk bowls. So they're not going to last forever. You can see the cracks appearing in that one. So I do need to make a load more. I do need to sort out that, sh that greenhouse and that had wasp nests in it so uh, these two beds need pulling up the, the sweet corn and that needs composting but by the same token uh, I need to get the compost bins down there in place so there's a huge list of what I need to do on my uh, January review I've got to fix those frames up. So where to start, I don't know really. 
It's all got to be done. Pick something and do it, I think. We're actually kind of where we are at the moment. And I've not got very many months before I'm going to start wanting to put stuff in the ground. Well, end of this month, basically, with carrots. So, a little less chatting, a little more action, and I'll get on with stuff now.